Hi guys, I'm back. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, something called metabolic syndrome. It's called syndrome X, okay? And um, we're going to talk about it. It's really kind of a combination of several things like high blood pressure, belly fat, high sugar, cholesterol, and in other countries, you can add a couple other things in there as well, okay? So um, it's so interesting because if you then look up something called hyperinsulinemia, high insulin, okay? They'll say that this condition is associated with metabolic syndrome and these symptoms, okay? But really, it causes it, okay? So I'm going to show you something out of Wikipedia um, that talks about high insulin, hyperinsulinemia, okay? Um, this is associated with hypertension. I love that. It's not associated. It's causing, okay? I'll explain it shortly. Obesity, high cholesterol, and high blood glucose. All right. This con these conditions collectively are known as metabolic syndrome. This close association between high insulin and conditions of metabolic syndrome suggest or relate a common mechanism of pathology. Uh, this just confuses people. It doesn't suggest it. It says they're, they're unable to connect the dots effectively. They're kind of switching and putting it all in this confusion here. Um, high insulin has been shown to play a role in obese hypertension by increasing sodium retention. No, that's, that's insignificant. Here we go. Link to obesity. Since high insulin and obesity are so closely linked, it's hard to determine whether high insulin causes obesity or obesity causes high insulin or both. No, it's not. It's pretty easy. The fact is when you actually get fat, you, you develop uh, insulin resistance, which increases insulin, but you had to get fat initially, it was the high insulin that got you there. Okay, so obesity is characterized by an ex excess of adipose tissue. Insulin increases the synthesis of fatty acid from glucose. Okay, we knew that. So basically, insulin turns glucose into fat and it inhibits the breakdown of fat. Well, good. Right there. Thank you. It just, basically, they just said that uh, insulin makes fat and it prevents the loss of fat. So it causes obesity. They're just, they're actually telling you there's a link, they're giving you some confusion, and they actually tell you the truth right underneath here. It says, high insulin may lead to um, diabetes. <laughs> Hello. Um, high uh, cholesterol. Hypertension, because it makes the arteries stiff. Coronary heart disease cardiovascular disease, uh, and weight gain. Okay, we knew that. Uh, treatment, okay. Treatment is typically achieved via diet and exercise, although metformin may be used to reduce insulin. Okay, all right. Then they go on to say a low-carbohydrate diet is effective in reducing hyperinsulinemia. Wow, they're actually telling you what to do. Lower the carbs. Thank you very much. I've been waiting for that. Um, a healthy diet that is low in simple sugars and processed carbohydrates and high in fiber, of course, they're going to get to the grains shortly, and vegetable protein, which, by the way, there's not a lot of protein in vegetables. Um, there's some, but you, it comes with a lot of carb, is often recommended. This includes replacing the white bread with whole grain bread. Here we go. Well, it has near the same glycemic index, okay? And I'll tell you one thing. When people eat whole grain bread, um, they're, they basically don't eat whole grain bread. They're eating whole wheat bread, okay? So go to the grocery store. It's, it's very, very it's confusing to people. All right, so then they say that reducing intakes of food like starch, like potatoes, increasing legumes, which have a bit of carbs and green vegetables, particularly soy. So they basically want to emphasize soy at the very end part. I wonder why that is. Well, if you actually look up some data on soy, I'm going to put a link down below. Soybean oil induces obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance, and fatty liver in mice, okay? So we'll just have to test it out if it's true in humans. But the point is that 98% of the soy out there is GMO. So these people are not stupid. I think they just have to define it like this because of the food manufacturing companies and the chemical companies behind them are really... Uh, pulling the strings, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that metabolic syndrome is purely 
cause by high insulin. All right, that's the cause. This is the effect. These are the effects. It's not associated, it's causing it. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.